Making a great impression is a very key aspect in all spheres of life and in this video today we are mainly focusing on why your CV should really impress the potential employer. My name is Mary Amondo, in charge of training and career advisory services and as usual I'm joined by Evelyn, one of our CV writing experts whom I will be having this discussion with. Thank you so much Evelyn for joining me. Thank you Mary for having me. Uh -huh. yes. Today we are speaking about making a great impression nice. with more specific reference to our CVs mm -hmm. because it needs to impress the employer. Mm -hmm. So as we start off, mm -hmm. why is it important to make a great impression in our CV? Making a great impression in your CV matters a lot. Yeah, because you see the CV, this is the initial stage before you even get called in for an interview. So if the CV is not well crafted, you're most likely not to be shortlisted for an interview. Yeah, and you know, there's, there's usually no second chances when it comes to sending applications. Mm -hmm. If you're not in, you're not in. If you're out, you're out. Mm -hmm. So I would even give a good example. You see, most of the time when people go for an interview, remember they have to also look the part. So it's also the same case with the CV. Mm -hmm. It also has to also look the part mm -hmm. based on the content, the delivery of the information, the general outlook. So all those bits matter. Mm -hmm. Yeah, because it's only that bit that determines whether now they call you in. Mm -hmm. yeah. And as you always say that uh, a CV being a marketing document, mm -hmm. in this case, in terms of impression, it is the first thing that introduces you to your potential employer. Very true. Great. How does it now set one apart mm -hmm. from other applicants? Uh -huh. Okay. So it actually sets uh, a person apart from other applicants because now it gives this person a competitive edge from the rest of the applicants. Mm -hmm. So remember there are so many people applying. These recruiters also receive so many applications. So out of all these applications, what will determine if they should pick you or not? So there are, th there are three things here I'm going to focus on. So number one, we have the content. So in terms of content, many people tend to overlook this one especially because I've seen it recurring with the clients that we usually speak to on a day-to-day -day basis. Mm -hmm. You'll see someone is a senior level professional. But then when you look at the CV, there are a lot of grammatical errors, misplaced information, even the names have not been spelled in the right way. Mm -hmm. So remember that's also giving an impression to a recruiter. Mm -hmm. So this is a senior level person, but the information brought out is not depicting that. Mm -hmm. So why would they hire someone if, because if they give this person this role, they are, if the impression of this person would be, number one, this person is careless. Mm -hmm. Number two, this person also is not keen to detail. Mm -hmm. And most of these roles require someone who is keen to detail. Mm -hmm. So if they see that at the onset of your CV, they don't pick you. Mm -hmm. I was They'll actually having a better. conversation with... Uh, one of our recruiters mm -hmm. just the other day, mm -hmm. and we were he was considering shortlisting a candidate for a role, mm -hmm. only to realize that every other thing is okay apart from mm -hmm. the contact, the number Ooh. is missing from the CV. And so we were wondering, how do we what? reach out to this yeah. candidate? Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. so you see things like that, because now how would they even reach out? Or sometimes people even include their relatives' numbers there. Mm -hmm. So uh, how if they call this person, then they're like, oh, uh, that's actually my sister. So they'll be wondering, okay, he didn't give the direct contact. Mm -hmm. Then you see someone will be like, I'm sending applications, I'm not getting feedback, but keen, you need to also be keen mm -hmm. so that even the content you're sharing to recruiters doesn't go to waste. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so that was about content. Mm -hmm. Yeah, the other bit is on the formatting. Mm -hmm. So the general outlook of that CV, sort of like the presentation. So how these uh, candidates are, sh are sharing their CVs out there. So remember these recruiters, at f it takes a number of seconds mm. for them to figure out if you are a good fit or not. I also had a conversation also with a recruiter of ours. So she was like, um, it was an entry level position. So out of all those CVs, there's one that stood out just because of the formatting and the design. Just that and they were like, let's call this person. This is our person, let's call. And even when they called the person, even in the delivery, during the interview stage, this person was good. Mm -hmm. And they hired this person just because of the formatting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, They didn't even look at the content because the others were like, ah, they didn't even take their time to bring out the right things. Mm -hmm. yeah. So formatting also matters a lot. Mm -hmm. yeah. Great. Um, as a CV writing expert, mm -hmm. this is something that uh, 
you've done for quite some time now mm -hmm. and having interacted with the recruiters. Mm -hmm. What advice would you have for a job seeker or a professional mm -hmm. whose CV has not been making the cut mm -hmm. in the job search journey? Uh -huh. What advice would you have for them? Uh, that's simple. They should seek professional help mm -hmm. and who are the right people to come to professional CV writers in corporate staffing services. Because mm -hmm. you see, we already know what these recruiters are already looking for. We've even been trained by our hiring managers. So even when we are including that information, it increases their chances. Mm -hmm. So you see a lot of managers sending their CVs, a lot of uh, doctors, as in people with various professions are even coming seeking for help. Because mm -hmm. you might be a doctor, yes, but then remember, when I say in Kiswahili, they say mganga mm hajigangi. -hmm. So you won't just assume, oh, I can't be able to do this. These are the things I do. Let me just write it. There's some information that they may fail to understand or miss out. Mm -hmm. Then they send that application. This person has all the qualifications, but bringing out the right skill set, describing the right roles to suit these adverts, make this person miss out on mm -hmm. a very important role. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so it helps a lot. Because mm -hmm. we normally review these CVs, and we usually make it also a personal, sort of like a personal touch with the, with the candidate and ourselves. So even when we are doing the write-up, there's that engagement, whereby we get to find out the background of this person career-wise and what they have been doing. We give our insights on that. Mm -hmm. Then we also now draft. Then after the drafting, they also review the same. Maybe there's some information that is not clear to them. We will still be able to give the right insights because mm -hmm. we already know what these recruiters are looking for. Mm -hmm. So it's just a matter of them sending, and it increases their chances. <laughs> great, <laughs> yeah. to increase uh, them making that great impression sure. to their potential employer. Yeah. Thank you so much for creating time to be with us in this channel today. Thank you as well, Mary. Great. Yeah. You are sending out applications, your CV to be specific, but it is never making it, uh, making the cut in that job search journey then this is the moment, as Evelyn has mentioned, your CV is very important to make that first great impression because this is the first thing that introduces you to your potential employer. At Corporate Staffing Services, we endeavor to walk this journey with you, so we encourage you to share with us your current up-to-date CV just as it is. We'll be able to uh, reach out to you in person and advise on whether it is really selling you out well for those roles that you're applying for in terms of just making the first general great impression. My name is Mary once again and we look forward to seeing you in the next video. Thank you so much for watching.